We're creating a group expense tracker. We have our expenses and our cost and then who paid them here in A, B, and C column. Now what we're trying to figure out is how much did each person actually pay in total over the night, maybe over dinner, and how much do they need to pay to get even? So anything we're putting in here, we're saying, hey, I paid for this, but I think the group should share it. So if you paid for anything and you pay it, you don't need to, ex don't need to track that. So what we're doing is we have appetizers. Carl and Catherine paid for a couple appetizers. Dale paid for cocktails. Frank and Linda paid for beer rounds. Linda paid for dessert and a main. And Dale paid for a main as well. So out of all of these costs, what should each person pay? And what, how much do they actually pay? Over here on the right side, I have each person's name and I want to figure out how much did they pay already. So we're going to take some if. We're going to take the range of paid by where we have their name. And the criterion is going to be their name in E2 here. And then the sum range is going to be the B column. And now I can end parentheses and see that Carl paid $20. Yes. Now if I copy paste this down, I can see that Linda paid 80 That's just these three items, 20, 30, and 30. Now, how much do they owe based on the average? So what we're going to need to do is figure out the average. So we're going to sum everything in the B column, and then we're going to divide it by count all, and we're going to take the names of all of them. So maybe there's more names here. We can even do the entire E column where there's just names, and we see that the average is 40. So what we're going to do is surround that with parentheses and we're gonna subtract whatever they've already paid. So Carl needs to pay 20, Catherine needs to pay 20, Dale is owed 20, Frank needs to pay 20, and Linda is owed 40, because it's a negative number. So she's 40 over the average. And now we can clearly see that either Carl, Catherine, or Frank needs to pay back Dale, and then the other two need to pay Linda. And there you go. That's a group expense tracker. You can list all of your expenses, who paid for them, and then count everyone up and see who owes what. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how-tos, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is gonna be your next Google Sheet.